everyone, and welcome to Rowan Television Network's very special 10th annual telethon. I'm Gina Donovan. And I'm Thomas Napley. This year, as with all other previous years, our goal is to raise funds for a deserving charity or organization, and we are very pleased to announce that this year's organization will be Go For The Goal. For those of you who don't already know, Go For The Goal is an organization that raises money for children with cancer and their families, as well as money towards research for a cure. Get ready for some nice... R&B soul music here from Charles Gilbert. He's going to bring you some great stuff. Get ready for it. Give it up for Charles Gilbert. My like moments that I was like super proud of it was we had a bunch of um, patients go to Jingle Ball and we had like a suite and um, a girl walked in and just was smiling and I was just like this is why I do it because I like can take them away from that bad like from thinking they have cancer and like actually put them in like a good situation. You know when you see the laces and same thing with you know, uh, when it's breast cancer awareness, when everyone's wearing pink, it's, it's just helping with that awareness. It's just educating people. It's just bringing it to the table. And in addition, bringing people together at the same time, which is very important. We got our, our lighting system over here. Actually, we have uh, Ty Lore. He's over here. If he wants to come over, we're going to check out the lighting. This is a lot of monitors, a lot of, a lot of boards. Ty, Ty Lore, how, how, do you, how are you doing all this, man? Right now I know for certain that there's no denying it's a sunny day in Glassboro. Oh, it's me, I long to see the childlike simplicity. It broke my heart to see someone who was younger than me and I was so close to going through so much. And like I just related to that sibling perspective. And I grew to love the Stephanies. They're just the most wonderful people. Mm -hmm. And I saw what they do, the behind the scenes. And that like what you do, like the work you put in has actual results. You know where your money is going. And like I as a student, as a child, I started in third grade, had an actual way to make an impact and touch the lives of people, not like across the country, right in my own community who are suffering with pediatric cancer. Think of all the ghosts, think of all the ghosts, the ones who are still here haunt you the most. Think of all the flames, but burned out for days. But I still felt the fire in my veins. So if we look at the one picture closest to me, we have uh, children unfortunately affected by cancer, but the Philadelphia Phillies were nice enough to have these kids stand out and live what is potentially could be some of their lifelong dreams, you know. A lot of kids grow up and wish they could be a baseball player, and again, being that go for the goal is uh, South Jersey. You know, a lot of them probably grew up as Phillies fans, so to give these kids with cancer the ability to be a Philly for a day, it really, really, it's powerful, it means a lot, and again, thank you to the Philadelphia Phillies for doing that. I like this model. I liked all the models, of course, but I think the judges have spoken on what model they like. As you can see, the wheels down here. What type of model of a shoe do you think this is? It is the classic Healy models. Yes, Healy's. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Muir, and great to be here on RTN Channel 5. And all of us here at ABC's World News Tonight would like to give a shout out to Rowan University's RTN for your 10th annual telethon supporting Go for the Goal. And a special shout out to Go for the Goal, a charity that raises money for pediatric cancer. Over the last 10 years, they've raised more than $5 million for research, grants to fund programs, and renovations that improve the lives of children being treated for cancer. They go for the gold. Go for the gold. Yeah, well, ha happy birthday to you, Tom. And Thank now you, we're going to go over to somebody slightly more important, no offense, but this is Anthony Valpaggio, okay. a friend of some RTN members who so generously donated $500 to the cause. Using the newest technologies that we have, we're really pushing the, uh, the gamut this year. We're really going above and beyond and really, you know, going live from different locations. We're going across the campus, and I think it's going to be really cool seeing, you know, pulling that all together and uh, really going forward and streaming it. We've streamed in the past, but now hopefully with our newer technology, it's gonna work really good and really well, so we'll, uh, we'll see. And the first one was in the RTN office. Um, it was a shoot directly on Channel 5. I think it was one camera, maybe two camera shoots. Um, and it was literally for two hours um, with people pledging 
money over the phone. It was literally, hey, I've got $5 I can give you. I'll bring it to the office. Does that work? And we would say, yeah, sure, that's fantastic. Um, so now it's totally high tech. So of course, we're in multiple studios, multiple locations. We're on the web, we're streaming. It wasn't until maybe the third or fourth telethon that RTN was streaming anything. So now that's just, you know, a thing that we do that's normal. So this is a toy drive that we did with all of our uh, school. As Adriana uh, directs traffic. <laughs> there we go, now you can see the lovely yeah. toys. Yeah. Wow. This is fantastic. So this is for the Car for Kids program as you guys all learned about today. Um, so yeah, this is for you guys. We also have some more that we couldn't fit on the, the uh, cart, so we'll give that to you guys. Great. But Thank now you. for the big moment. Drum roll please. The final. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> right, so tonight's 10th annual telethon, our team and Roan Television Network raised $5,590. Yeah. Yeah.